Good morning everyone, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi. Yes, recording a video very early, the sun just starts to rise right in my face. Um, taking a look at the Bitcoin charts because I have a very busy day so I need to do it this early now and, and show you what I see on the charts and it's like six amazing charts that you really need to see so watch the video always till the end and of course give it a thumbs up right away now now let's quickly jump into the first chart BAM over here of course the first chart is a day chart at the moment I'm not going to zoom into the so smaller time frames because I just don't have the time today but the day chart is still showing us that we broke that trend line the dotted white trend line that we came known from and that we are about to create a golden cross so that golden cross is when the green line keeps continuing like this the 50 day moving average and the red one continues like this the 200 day moving average then they might cross in this area somewhere in the first week of february between like 6 7 8 february that would be very bullish as a golden cross has always been bullish in history we have seen many times these golden crosses and they were always bullish at the same time there's a lot of volume at this level so yes we could see a small pullback to the dotted line and um, to retest the breakout so that, that what often happens there's not enough um, power in the market anymore so we come back and then we could continue against something like this and um, that would be beautiful in line with that golden cross because down then then now and um, we are going to pull back a little bit all the way down to 21 500 600 and then that golden cross happens and it's very bullish and then bam again we go up that could be a move um, of course in the charts now if we zoom out a little bit more then we see the weekly chart um, on the weekly chart we can see exactly the same that i'm showing every time again and again and again also breaking that dotted line line and we did create a lower high now the question is can we create a higher high but to create a higher high uh, we also need to create a higher low so this is the low and um, this is now the. i would need to put it over there now this is not a high so where will become the next higher low so that higher low could come around the dollar line again around the 20k that would be a higher low and then again a higher high so that's how the market moves so um to draw it like single like very simple lower low this is a high now we get a higher low then we get a higher high that's how the market moves and then again a higher low and then again a higher high something like that guys that's how the market keeps moving just how it moves downwards lower high lower low lower high lower low we always move upwards the same way so we have a low we have a high we have a higher low we have a higher high we have a higher low we have a higher high that's how markets move and it will take weeks um, to cut to get there but the most important part is very simple and um, that is shown to you guys on these charts over bam here now this is the most important part because i've been sharing this information throughout the whole bear market i've been telling you buy that dip and why because all these indicators are telling us to buy the dip I've been sharing this card many, chart many times. When we get into the green, there's the area to buy the dip. When we get into the green, there's the area to buy the dip. When we get into the green, that's the area to buy the dip. When we get into the green, that's the area to buy the dip. We already are out of the green again. This means that at the moment, 72% of the Bitcoin supply is in profit. 72%. How can that be? How can it be that now 72% of the Bitcoin supply is in profit? I can tell you why now 72% of the Bitcoin supply is in profit. Because all those people that bought Bitcoin at 50k, 40k, 30k, that thought after the crash that Bitcoin would still crash to 12k, sold their Bitcoins at 16k, 17k. They thought, ah, we will buy them back at 12k, at least we can make up a little bit for our loss that we made from 30 to 16k. And who bought those Bitcoins? The smart people. So the smart people, those wills, those OGs, they bought the Bitcoins at 16K and 17K. So those Bitcoins turned from loss into Bitcoins that are now in profit because they were taken over from the strong hands. And where did they buy them? From the weak hands. That's the game that every time plays out again and again. And again, those people will now be scratching their heads and be like, fuck, I shouldn't have sold. I should have bought more. You should have watched my videos now let's jump into the next chart over here this chart also beautifully showing us um, that yes there is a beautiful time to buy bitcoin and that beautiful time to buy bitcoin is every time when we are deep in that red area this is capitulation 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 
capitulation. We had huge capitulation and we are going into the hope, fear area now. The hope, ah, so Bitcoin is still alive. So it is going to do what it always has done. It will go up again, that uh, type of hope. And that hope will go up to an optimism and then to a belief. And again, of course, uh, we will end in euphoria. And that's the blue area. That's always the uh, peak, like the Bitcoin peak. We didn't see euphoria this time because it was a double um, around the top. So we only stayed in the, uh, the belief part of the cycle, guys. So uh, let's see. Maybe now we can create another beautiful blue top again. Next chart, this one. Um, also here guys yes this is um, showing you the bitcoin change by year as we all know um, we had uh, 2014 uh, was a bearish year 2018 was a bearish year and 2022 was a bearish year now why do i say 2014 18 and 2022 because the chart shows 2015 19 and 23 because i want to show you what happened after those three bearish years so in 2014 we're bearish after that we went a little bit down you can see and then bam we pumped up all the way up 50 percent from the beginning till the end of the year 2019 2018 was bearish 2019 we recovered from zero bam all the way up here 250 percent almost now 2023 that's this year but 2022 was very bearish so 2023 would then be the year like 2019 and 15 what are we gonna do we are almost up 50 percent like 39 percent or something like that is it gonna be a copy of this beautiful 2019 year that we double all the way up to 250 percent or is it an average of 2019 and 15 and we end up somewhere in between 24 and 33 thousand US dollar in the end we don't know but again it shows us that mostly after such a bearish year as 2022 there will be a little bit more bullish year and then 2024 will be the bullish 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 year now next job bam um, this one is beautiful this one shows the important levels at the moment in bitcoin and you can see that the important levels are the realized price and uh, the 200 week moving average and the tbl electricity hash value now if we look at these values uh, then bitcoin is moving perfectly uh, like it should be doing uh, we just crossed the realized price the next 19,770 uh, we are a little bit we are at 22,700 like 23,000 almost uh, the next target will be the 24,600 the 200 weekly moving average and then the 28,600 that's a tbl why are these the targets because look every time when they come close to each other like we see over here uh, they expand again and that will lead into the bull market we are close to each other here and then you have the bull and we are close to each other here and then again that the yellow line goes to the top so the bitcoin price will be trying to break that yellow line during that new bull market like it broke it over there as well so that's beautiful to see on this chart now let's go to the next one then over here yes many charts but they all show you where we are in the phase of the bitcoin market guys and this one again mvrv z score many times shown you green areas you buy guys green areas you buy guys green you buy green you buy green you should buy i've been telling you from the mid of 2022 till the end of 2023 in this green zone when we break out you should be already in bitcoin we are breaking out so we are breaking out the target that beautiful reddish area there on top but it will take a long time like you can see over here it took a long time it took a long time and this will also take a long time all the way up into 2025 2025 in my opinion now bam one more chart guys um also very beautiful chart uh, realized profit loss ratio hmm. we can see that uh, this beautiful black line in the middle whenever that one is um, crossed to the top we become bullish again so this red area we are bearish and the green areas we are bullish so we were deeply red all the time and we can now see flashing it into green we are crossing that line again so uh, it looks really beautiful on the 30 day moving average so that means yes this could be the start of something very beautiful at least a very bullish period doesn't mean that we will go up bam to 100k directly like you can see when we cross it, it we can have some small pumps but we need to stay above that line so we can correct again and come back to the black line but we need to see it above and we stay when we stay above we are in a bullish 
period for Bitcoin. Now, bam, over here. And does that Bitcoin bullishness now have to do um, with the halving? That's what everyone is asking himself. Normally, yes, I would say it has to do with the halving. Does it also have to do with uh, fiat currency being able um, to to flow into Bitcoin? Yes, it also has to do with fiat currency being able to flow into Bitcoin. When are these huge pumps of fiat into the industry mostly happening? Look, mostly when there is a new president. 2012, Obama, look, there was the first halving, bam. To the second halving, we got Trump. Look, after Trump, we had a bam. Then Biden, he pushed the market also up, bam. 2024 will be the next election. I don't know who's gonna be the president, but mostly when a new president is elected and we have the halving, that's a strong combination of the halving, so that's built into Bitcoin, plus money coming into the market because these new presidents will pump the market because they wanna have a positive influence on the country. So also really cool chart. Uh, thank you, Charles BBC, Charles PTC for making that one. And then we have one more chart, bam, bam, over here, because we, as Bitcoiners, we need to be very proud. Why do we need to be very proud? Because even Goldman Sachs at the moment now, you can see in the left top, there's a Goldman Sachs report is telling us, yes, Bitcoin is the best performing asset out there. You can compare them to all of these, but they are all way, way, way below Bitcoin. And when these people that you have always trusted now tell you that Bitcoin is the best performing asset, then you should be trusting them now as well. You should be buying Bitcoin every day because we will go to new all-time highs, bam, in the next couple of years, zoom out in Bitcoin, start to accumulate more, more, more. Every salary you receive, put it in Bitcoin because when we get into bull run, the bull run can take one and a half years all the way up to a beautiful top of 100K. So you're making a lot of profit on the Bitcoins that you're buying now, a little bit less bit profit on the Bitcoins that you're buying buying probably in a few months but again profit is profit it's more profit than the interest the banks will give you for holding your money on the bank that you can't even reach whenever you want now that was everything for today thank you for watching hope you really enjoyed it if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell leave a comment thank you for watching see you tomorrow again Bam.